Welcome back to the Football Referee with Emmy Hickens, Trevor Gear, and Femi Madariola. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, there's a team that we rarely talk about on this show, and it's Arsenal. We've never stood up, said anything about Arsenal. What is happening with Arsenal? <laughs> I think, I think, since the likes of, you know, you, you, as, as, I, I think we talk about teams that have got maybe one controversial player or a controversial uh -huh. coach. You know, a team that brings somebody who is in a team that brings that team to the limelight. Yeah. So when that team come to the limelight all the time, you want to talk about them because yeah. of maybe the way they are playing or their coach or one player who is controversial. I remember the days of Moreno. There's no time you don't see his teams on the newspaper is uh they've won a goal but they've won a match they've lost a match Molina has made a comment or something's happened or there's been like like a fight on the match and something like that so Arsenal has been on the and, and, and on uh, under the radar and why they've been under the radar is if you look at the last two seasons Arsenal should have won the league mm. they should it's have true. won the league and also Mikel Ateta being the Arsenal coach and a Spanish man is not a media person. He's more like he's not like a Guardiola. Sometimes even the the the, the gestures, the the sarcasm of Guardiola alone, you you see him in the newspaper. People will talk about him and stuff like that. But because Arsenal has not been, you know, they've they've not won the league. Neither have they done so well in the Champions League. Has made a lot of people talk less about them. Right, right, Trevor. But that doesn't take it away that they are not a good team. They're a very, very good team. And I'm thinking, I'm good. I'm thinking this season it might be Arsenal because the last two seasons they've been they've been up, up, up there, nudging whoever is at the top. They're like, yeah, they're like I mean, I, I think they're like the opposition party in, in politics, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I agree with what you said there. I think they've been preparing themselves very well and could easily have won it. I think two seasons ago, they kind of blew out near the end. But last yeah. season, they were there or thereabouts. And I think it's only it's a bit like the tennis players because others are there. It stops others winning. And without Man City, Arsenal clearly would have won at least one of the recent championships. When you consider, as we said before, Man City, I think, have won something like the last eight or nine, except for Liverpool in 2020, I think it was, which is phenomenal. I mean, it looks like a one-team league. But, but yeah, I think Arsenal will win the league sooner or later. I don't think Man City can go on that relentlessly successfully. But all that said, wouldn't it be good to have another Leicester? Not necessarily Leicester themselves. We're going to take a short break now. The football ref will be back shortly. You're listening to the Football Referee with Emmy Hickens, Trevor Gear, and Femi Madariola. The Football Referee will be back shortly. Please stay tuned. The Football Referee is looking for sponsors. If you're a business out there looking to spread the word about the products and services you offer, please get in touch on our website deepstuffrecords.com and also if you're looking to get involved on this show please reach out via our facebook page deep stuff radio or deep stuff records thank you